don't worry about the Knicks because it's your boy Chris with the Knicks all right so today's video is about product junkie XOX exposing her deadbeat husband now um, I usually don't do videos on s s topics like this um, first of all let's get a shout out to my real hair Uh, yeah, if you watch my videos, you know. Alright, so, yeah, I usually don't do videos or talk about subjects like this. Because, um, I usually don't follow a lot of YouTubers. Just because a lot of YouTubers are fake. Um, especially some of like the, some of the um, interracial families. I ain't gonna name no names, but it's like, how do you have a scandal and then you just act like ain't nothing happened? You can't push down your... Um, push down problems like it ain't nothing you know um but yeah no tea no shade but um yeah i've been following product junkie xox for since um the twins were um were not even walking um so i've been following her for a while so uh, uh so best friend if you're watching this you know i support you um just to give a brief t um description because I was um the reason why I'm doing this video because I was watching uh well I watched the two videos that she deleted then I'm, I watched the one where she had the conversation with Decepticon or um Lord uh Voltamart. Um I keep saying um oh, damn I'm gonna go off. Well I am gonna go off. Sorry, so she had the conversation with uh, her military husband and he You know, words can't even explain some of the trifleness that he um, exposed. First of all, you know, how are you going to still be married and have different people sleeping up in your house? Because, you know, if you join the military, I used to be in JRTC, but um, I have a lot of military friends. If you join the military, even if before you join, they tell you, in the beginning, if you are single, once you're done with uh, duty, once you start your actual job, if you don't have a family, you go to your, um, you go to dormitories with the, with it. so basically like how college, how you dorm with um, other roommates. And if you have a family, then you get off um, base. It's still military housing, but it's off base. You know, you kicked out your own family just to have some hole that look like the California raisin to uh you know sleep in your own bed, bed that your family's supposed to be in now with that being said you know first of all like V said she don't have no respect for her and I, I don't blame her because you know you are fucking somebody's husband you know and it's not like you can't you don't know that she wasn't married because First of all, y'all both from the military. Second of all, that makes it even more trifling. Third of all, it's, third of all you're a woman, so you should, you're supposed to already know the boundaries. You know, I'm not a woman, I'm a man, but still, you know, I'm for equal rights. Uh, you know, you, do you want to meet the kids? And then your ass wasn't even you didn't even want to see your kids before you started dating. But you want this woman to come see your kids. And then you wonder why um, Julian started crying. Because when I saw the video where Julian was crying, I, I knew it had something to do with grades, but I knew that was the only thing. And then V said she didn't uh, record the rest of the stuff. But you know, as a, as a person, you already have an inkling of what's going on, even when the cameras are off. Not always, but you can know what I mean. You know, so you screwing another woman in the bed where your wife used to sleep in. Even your kids used to sleep in that bed. And you got drug dealers, and you got other, you know, trifling ass niggas uh, sleeping in your kids' bed. You know, I'm gonna post the link to the video down below. But um, this sub subject, you know, I don't feel like V should um uh, keep quiet. 
You know, why protect somebody who obviously have no interest in their own kids and their own marriage? You know, it's like protecting. It's like giving a trans, um, a liver transplant to a pedophile instead of giving it to a person who helped out the community, helped out people when they're depressed, you know, et cetera, et cetera, but you give it to a person who doesn't deserve it. You know, I don't feel like you should protect them no more. For what? The, you know, you just want to show off and basically create a new family. And from what I heard when I was looking at the older videos when V and him were together, you got snipped. So them four kids, I'm not saying you, you should go out and have more kids and create a whole new family. But you know, them kids is your legacy. You can't have no more kids. You know, love ain't something you can just put away. But again, the whole trifleness of it is just crazy. Because you know, when I used to watch the videos, it, it did seem like he was at first camera shy. You know, he just didn't, you know, tired. He just didn't want to, you know, be in front. But um, other cameras, but now you know. Then when I started looking at it, you know, it, it was just like he was just trifling. It was just period. And then when V started to unfold all of the stuff, you know, I'm glad she didn't fake it like some other YouTube couples. I'm not go name names, but I would just say in in. You know, I'm glad that she keeps it real. That's why, you know, I follow her and her journey and all all of that, you know, her, the kids, you know, the family, it's just it's so much realness right there. You know, because if I wanted to see something fake, I would just watch um, so-called reality shows that's on TV already. But yeah, I'm just at a loss for words because not only just, you know, the military not doing anything about it. Yeah, you know, you fight for your country, you do all that. That's great. I'm not talking about that, but, you know, you have somebody that's holding it down for you at, at home, and you're not, you know, you're not holding your end of the part. If you don't want to be, if you want to swing your thing around, then stay single. Don't waste nobody's time. I'm old school, so, you know, marriage is a, a serious thing. It's not just, like, a boyfriend and girlfriend. Um... You know, it's something serious. Don't play with somebody's time. Uh, yeah, you know, just this is just off the top of my head. Um, I know you saw the intro. I'm not gonna cry, even though most people do cry to that song. That's just how silly I am. Uh, but yeah, V, you know, we support you. You know, gems, trifling ass, whatever is, whatever is in the dark comes to light. You know. Why are you asking why your kids don't want to see you? Because you didn't want to be there for them. You know, you know. forget how the, the wife feels. You got kids. Why don't you put kids into that? Everything changes. Just like money, thing, money changes everything, kids change everything. And it's not just because he wants to get the black experience. He like black women, so he got to act like a black man. No, because not all black men do that. It's a lot of black men that take care of their kids my father was a person who took care of his kids you know he did pass at an early when I was an early age but you know he was there so it has nothing to do with um, him trying to act black or just hanging around black people if people ever thought that you know I just think that it's just very low down what he's doing and for those like stupid ass blogs like Lipstick Alley, like trying to say you know, I don't even I don't even read all that shit, but like that V was this and that. No, even though you know you you don't know, I'm not saying it's, you know she has some like if you see celebrities on TV, you know you can almost get an inkling of how some people are, even if they're trying to fake it. Some people can't fake it till they make it, but again, the truth comes out. And, you know, I, I see that V is a very good person, Valencia, is a very good person. You know, so that's why I feel like I had to do a video on this. You know, I'm not trying to get subs for my channel, I'm not trying to, um, you know, 
get um, publicity off this. You know, I just feel like if something is real, I'll talk about it. If something deserves my attention, I'll talk about it. So, um, yeah, any comments, questions, concerns, you know, leave them in the comment section below. Again, best friend, Valencia, I support you. Um, all right, until next time, this has been your Chris, boy Chris with the next on some trifling ass talk. Deuces. Peace. <laughs>